Hey guys, I'm Nikki Dinky. Welcome to my kitchen. So I've showed you how to make a great creme brulee. Just go to the video that says creme brulee. Easy, 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 and so delicious. But now I need to show you how to finish them off with a great sugar crust. So whether you have a torch or not, I'm gonna show you two techniques on how to create the perfect professional finish to your creme brulee. So I've got my creme brulees. These are at room temperature. You wanna take them out of the fridge about 30 minutes before you're gonna serve them. That'll make sure the custard is at room temperature. And don't worry, because the top's still gonna to be kind of you know warm. You know We're gonna spray it with a torch, so it's gonna be pretty warm, and it's gonna give that overall warm feeling, but you want the custard itself to be at room temperature. Now, the professional way to do this with just this plain old white sugar is to put it on top and then shake it off. So you get a very thin layer of sugar on top. Now, that's totally fine. I just really like the crust, and I don't mind having to really dig my spoon into it and really crack it. I, I don't know, I'm a sugar fan. I like burnt sugar, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on. Depending on how thick or thin you want your crust, you wanna put more or less sugar. So I did shake this around just to get a nice even layer. You can kind of tap it, get it all nice and perfect. I just didn't, you know, actually shake any of that sugar off, which is what some people would do. Either way, totally fine. So now my first method is I get to use my torch, which is a very, very exciting thing for me. This was a gift. You know, it's one of those items that, no, you don't really need, especially in a Manhattan-sized, you know, kitchen. But I really like creme brulee, and I was really excited about it. So this is obviously not a restaurant style, you know, torch. They're, those are quite big and they really give off a large flame. But whatever kind of torch you have, just make sure you're using your ultimate highest flame that you can. If you use a low flame, you'll still eventually get to the same final product, but you'll be warming and almost cooking that custard because it's gonna take so much longer. And then it's gonna become a little bit warm and it's just not so great. So we really wanna use our highest flame possible. Now I'm gonna go over this once, give it a good pass, and then let it all kinda of settle back down, see where it is, and then I'm gonna go over it again. If you get a couple of burn spots, that's okay. That bitterness is really supposed to be there. You just don't want the whole thing to be burned. That's not so good. So, you know, take your time, see where you are, but just make sure you're using a really high flame. That way you're not cooking the custard anymore. So if that isn't fun, I don't know what is. I mean, you've got a torch, that's pretty awesome. And these guys, you know, these small ones, they don't cost that much. So if you think you're gonna do a, you know, creme brulee every now and then, it might just be something fun to have. So now we're gonna move on to our broiler method. We're gonna do the same thing, put the same amount of sugar on the top, and the trick here is just to put it as close to your broiler flame as possible. Now some people have, you know, a broiler on the top or the bottom. There's a lot of different stoves out there. You just want to make sure you try to get it as close to the flame as possible because we're trying to recreate what we did with the first one. We're trying to get it so that it's almost the flame is on top of it. Now, if you think for whatever reason that you don't think you can get it very close to your flame and you think it's going to take a couple of minutes longer, then I want you to take this directly from the fridge and don't let it warm up for that 30 minutes like I had mentioned before because it's going to warm up in your oven quite a bit. So however you do it, just try to get as close to the flame as possible, and the only other thing you can do is keep a really close eye on it. You know, flames are uneven, we're trying to burn sugar, all these things can go terribly wrong terribly quickly. So just keep a really close eye on it, you might have to turn it a little bit in there, but if you keep a close eye on it and you keep it as close to the flame as possible, in the end we're going to get beautiful results just like our flamed one. I love digging in and kind of breaking up that crust. Mm, I mean, if that isn't restaurant quality creme brulee, I don't know what is. It's just amazing what you can do and it's so easy. So invite all your friends over and press the heck out of them and only you and me will know just how easy it is. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, have fun in the kitchen. I will see you then.